and based on envy, patroness and jealousy, announced that he was willing to give a 20,000 city reward anyone with evidence of corruption within his Ghana Football Association, either by referees or by himself and other officials. Anyone who will come forward to report any corrupt practices. So if a referee is approved by a club official, we are encouraging them to report the club, of, of club official. We are proposing a 20,000 Ghana CD uh, prize money for anyone who comes forward to report uh, any case of bribery with evidence, not an allegation. You cannot just come and say, this man has gone to take a bribe. It's not enough. You must add evidence so that it will be credible. We can throw good money away. But that daring invitation, Mr. Nyantichi played himself into a checkmate. Meet Abdullahi Alhasa, known to be a trusted right hand man of Nyantichi. Call him the consigliere to the Godfather, what Tom Hagen was to Don Kalu. Alhasa, who people refer to as Abu, is a former footballer at an unusual age of 31. He is now an influential power player in Ghanaian football politics serving as the president of the Football Association in Ghana's northern region. The role makes him the youngest member of the Ghana Football Association's powerful executive committee. Abu was here in a hotel room to meet a powerful businessman about prospects for investment in Ghana football. He was a bit. I'm a football I've played in Holland for three years and I've played in Belgium for three years. In total, I stayed in Europe for nine years. The football fraternity, uh, young guys, they supported me to stand for an election for taking over the entire of these 26 districts. So I'm currently the president of the football federation in the London Centre of State. So I serve, with that gave me opportunity to serve in the high decision making in Ghana football. So I sit in the board. Uh, we are 22. And I'm one of the youngest among the 22 members in the Ghana Football Association. The businessman wanted a meeting with Abu's boss, Chrissy Nyantichi, wow. and he knew he had come to the right man to lead him there. The businessman, through his company, wanted to sponsor Ghana's domestic football league. The offer was $15 million for three years, $5 million more than the amount the FA reportedly had for their last team in 2014. Was Nyantichi interested? The businessman wanted to find out. Abu later arranged a hotel room meeting between a rep of the supposed businessman and Chrissy Nyantichi, with the goal of having the rep brief Nyantichi about his boss, the businessman, and his proposal. This was the first step before ultimately setting up a meeting between Nyantichi and the businessman. The rep in question unknown to Abu and Nyantichi, was an undercover Tiger investigator. On the sponsorship of the domestic league, Nyantichi revealed his plan to form a company to serve as brokers and managers of the deal, one that would earn commissions of between 20 and 25% of the sponsorship to be shared between him, Abu, and the businessman's web. Let him understand that we will form a company to be the agents. Okay. That company will be responsible for ensuring that the benefits that the people will promise are the benefits. Uh, okay. And there will be negotiated JP, you will not be a JP will pay from the sponsorship amount. Okay. Uh, and this full money, yeah. you know, that charge 20 percent, 25 percent. Then amount says we agree that this person get this money. So everybody should be sorted out. Okay. Then there will be peace. We okay. understand. Okay. 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 Uh, on his side, for us to secure a deal this way, he pays a percentage to ensure that their possibilities are met. A company that takes care of all the benefit that is promised mm -hmm. to the sponsor. So he will pay 5% of the total uh, sponsorship package. Okay. And then the 25% will help him to give you. So for a very because he has sitting down there, I will bring money to the company. Mind you, the businessman, as a potential investor, had approached the FA himself without the use of an agent. The company would later be revealed to be Namax, 
a mysterious entity fronted by Abu and conveniently missing any open link to Nyantichi. Why so? A part of the GFA's Code of Ethics reads, Officials are forbidden from accepting commission or promises of such commission for negotiating deals of any kind while performing their duties unless the presiding body has expressly permitted them to do so. Was Nyantichi covering his tracks? No. Tiger's checks would later reveal the president's cleverness in such dealings. We found companies spanning various fields of operation that belong to him and are fronted by different individuals. Companies which he uses for deals to outwit the system. Back in meeting, what was supposed to be a discussion about football investment suddenly took an unexpected turn. I spoke to First of all, the president, Akufado, and the vice president of Obamia, and then some of the ministers. We also held them in one day when they were in this. So I have a report. I'm going to anybody's house or his office. And do that. And go to him. And even after they came, Akufado called me. He says he wanted to see how something died. Now, 
know the law well. Young teaching, supposed to be a footballer administrator running a body FIFA insist should be autonomous from government influence. Strangely, displayed a deep knowledge of Ghana's current political scene, boasting of its proximity to key figures who he could give the businessman access to at a price. The good thing about Ghana so now, when you get to Mopé, you go to Kamali, you go to Boga, there will be a road from Mopé through Sandiman to Kabul. Wow. Yeah. And that place is a road like here. Mm -hmm. They are going to do bridges on mm -hmm. the river. Uh, okay. When the race is back, they will cut across. Yes. They will do many bridges. You know. And the Chinese, uh, for, for China finance projects, the contractors will be from China. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that will come to the world, the supplier of materials. Mm -hmm. And for each uh, lot, they are going to be about very big amounts. About 150 million dollars will be bought. Mm -hmm. for the supplier of sun, uh, chicken, steaks, and gravel, etc. etc. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Gabo told me, he said, My brother, there are, if the man agrees to do certain things, that from tomorrow they will get all the contracts. If it's ready, and give money to the vice president, mm -hmm. and that he says the minister of roads, and in Ghana, the minister of roads is always a close friend of the president. They the
he had to be resourceful. If we have to transfer to Ghana, they want to find a company that will give it to Ghana. Here that is not uh, okay. We have to find the company that we can transfer the money to them. It will not be a problem at all. Uh, that is not a big problem. I have a, a small financial institution that I mean, you can use them. This was a loaded businessman who meant business. With the opportunist in him awakened by the cold hard cash, Nyantichi encouraged the businessman to take him as a brother. In the clandestine alliance, which he claimed would lead to them eventually taking control of Ghana. We will do the MOU today and give it to you to get him to sell it. So we will do two MOUs one for the business, one for the sponsorship. Two different, yeah. Today. Today. Yes, I'll give it to you. So tell him that you should also take me as his brother. You can do all about me. I mean, I'm known everywhere. And let me tell you, let me tell you, maybe in future, in future, maybe we will control that in the way. And then it me, I will be a politician. Maybe two years time I'll become a politician. So now that we know each other, we work together. Then there was the profuse time use and God bless you with the unmistakable. God bless you. in the world had just practiced in private the misconduct that he has on countless occasions, publicly preached and sworn against, all in the name of money, the result of selfishness, greed, and hunger for power. And signed instantly, even at the risk of missing his own flight to Accra, which he was by this time running late for. He meant business, swift and sharp business. Back in his hotel room, he quickly drafted what were supposed to be complex documents with the speed of lightning. Oh, yeah. oh, 